Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Source Code, my name is Deshaun, and today we are going to be redoing our entire bucket coding series. Uh, the beginner series that I first started this YouTube channel with. Uh, I realized that there is some errors uh, throughout the episodes, uh, things have obviously changed, um, some of the videos aren't in the highest quality for whatever reason that was. Uh, so I've just decided to redo the whole series rather than just kind of go back and pick and choose which videos that I wanted to redo because that would take a lot more time and I think it's just good to do a nice refresher and have a nice uh, refreshed series where everybody can turn to. So in this series we are going to be using Spigot 1.13 so if you're using any other version other than that um, expect some things to not perfectly line up or not perfectly work uh, the same way that it does for me. So, project setup seems to be one of the hardest things people have time with. Uh, in this series, I'm going to be using a program called IntelliJ. So, you can use whatever program you want. They do have a community edition. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to do everything that you'll need to with the community edition, um, but I'm not entirely sure, so that's something you'll have to, we'll have to look up. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be using IntelliJ. I think it's probably one of the best programs, uh, or been a, one of the best IDEs out there. Uh, so I think uh, if you guys can, go ahead and use that. If you guys are using Eclipse, uh, that's totally fine. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, another great program. It's been around for a really long time. I actually started on Eclipse. Uh, so there's there's nothing wrong with using Eclipse either. Just if you're going to be following along, it may just be easier for you to follow along uh, with the same program. Okay, cool. So once you have that downloaded and installed, um, the next thing you got to do is get your spigot. So I always recommend, and I kind of beat around the bush last time, uh, the last time I did this series, uh, always a good idea to download assets directly from its source and not from third-party websites. Um, even if those third-party websites have good intent, you don't know, you know, who might have access to those files, you know, so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, so we're going to go over here and we need to download uh, build tools. So we're going to go ahead and click downloads and we're going to click on build tools. I actually have already done this step just because build tools uh, actually takes a long time to get everything downloaded uh, so I, I've uh, so I already did that cool so once you have build tools downloaded um, next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the wiki here and just go ahead and click wiki and we'll go spigot oops sorry not spigot uh, build tools guide and depending what operating system you're using will depend on what how you're gonna do this so I'm obviously using Windows um, you're gonna want to download a program called Git, and you can just click right there. I'll have all these links down in the description to make things a little easier for you. Uh, so just go ahead and download that. I've already downloaded and installed it, so I'm not gonna go ahead and do that. You're also gonna need to download a Java runtime environment. You can use whatever version you want. Um, this is, obviously here you can see they're recommending eight, but you can use nine, you can use 10, you can use whatever version's out, and generally speaking, it'll always work. Uh, just know that if your host, if you're gonna be running a um, this on like a hosted website, uh, sometimes you can run into some Java errors if you're using a newer version than what they're using. So just kind of keep that in mind. So once you have that all downloaded, it's pretty simple from here. Um, what we can do is, I like doing the bat file. I think it's just a lot easier. It makes more sense to me. Um, but you can follow these steps and you can do it this way if you really want to. So go ahead and copy this. And we're gonna go ahead and go to my desktop here. As you can see, I've already done it here. But if I open up this bat file, if I click edit here, uh, you can see that I have it in there. So now the next thing is you wanna determine what version you're using. So if you don't add this dash dash rev in the version, it's gonna give you its um, their recommended stable build. So the recommended stable build is not 1.13 yet. It's actually 1.12.2. One, 1 I don't know why I'm saying it like that, 1.12.2. Um, is their recommended stable version, so that's what's going to download if you leave that out and you just have this. Um, and you can pretty much download any version from here, 1.8, 1 1.9, 1 1.7, 1 1.8.7, you know, you put it in, it'll start downloading, so whatever version you want to use, go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to click don't save because I don't want to make any changes. And then once you do that, you'll be presented with all of these files. The, t the only thing you really need is this spigot jar. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this spigot jar. And now let's go ahead and go to our servers here. So I have, oops, projects, 
Spigot. Okay, here we go. I don't know why that wasn't working. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and what's inside of here? All this, okay. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and delete all of these files in here, except for this run bat. So we're gonna go ahead and delete that. We're gonna paste that. We're gonna open up our spigot run bat, which all you have to do in here is you just have to say Java. Uh, you don't, I don't even think you have to include this. This is how, what the minimum amount of uh, RAM you wanna use or maximum amount, I can't remember which one. Um, so I'm gonna set that at one gig. It's gonna be a jar and it's actually going to be our spigot 1.13 jar and then we'll put dash o true and pause so let's go ahead and run this it's gonna start it's gonna tell us we need to accept our eula okay so we can go ahead and accept our eula <coughs> so we'll just go ahead and change this to true i don't think caps locks matters but uh we'll find out really quickly here so we'll start up our server again uh, one great thing about Bucket and Spigot is if you're not using the most up-to-date, up stable version, uh, it'll it'll let you know. So like if I was using, you know, 1.12.2 version that I downloaded the day I it came out, uh, it's going to be different than what the one is now. So it's going to tell me that there's an updated version of that. So getting the server set up can take a little while. So while that's doing that, I'll pull this over onto my second screen and let's jump into IntelliJ. So in IntelliJ, I went ahead and made an empty project. So to do that, you just go file, new, project, and then empty project right down here. Pretty easy. Then once you have this empty project, you can actually put modules inside of this or projects inside of this. Uh, I say modules because that's what it actually is and it's probably best if I refer to it that way. So if I go ahead and say module, Okay, so now once we're inside of here, we're gonna go ahead and click Java, select your Java version. I'm using 1.8, so I should probably update that. Uh, we'll go ahead and click next. We'll give our project a name and we'll just say EP101, just in case we, you know, well, we are gonna get to the double digits, so. I doubt we'll get to the triple digits, but you know, if we do, that's fine. Uh, and then it's gonna give you a root. You can actually change this if you want to. I probably recommend keeping this uh, whatever it gives you. Then we're gonna go ahead and click finish. So we're almost there. So what we need to do now is we'll go ahead and we shall create a package, which for some reason, oh, I'm in the wrong spot. So we'll go ahead and create a package. Uh, usually if you don't have a domain, you should name this me dot whatever and then the plugin. If you have a website, you can go ahead and do this this way. It doesn't really matter, matter either way. Um, just kind of preference, so I'm gonna go do tscforum.ep1. Uh, we'll just, yeah, we'll do ep1. Okay, cool. So now I can click OK. And now I can start adding my first class here. But what we should do first is, well, get the setup with Spigot. So what you wanna do is, if you're using IntelliJ, and you're on a Windows, and I think even a Mac, you can still do this too. Um, Linux, I don't really know. Um, if you go ahead and click your module here and you press F4, you'll actually have the project structure window come up, which is like really, really helpful. And it pretty much has everything you're gonna need. So as you can see here, my project SDK is not set up, so we're gonna wanna define that. Modules, it shows me all my modules and my dependencies, which is where we're going next. So you're gonna go modules, dependencies, Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and find where we put our jar file, which mine was under Minecraft servers, tutorial, non-bungee, and spigot 1.3. So we can go ahead and click apply. And next we wanna do is we wanna go to artifacts. So we're gonna go, I'm actually gonna copy this. Oh, I can't. Uh, we're gonna go to artifacts, add a jar, modules with dependencies. Uh, it's, if you have more in here, it's gonna have all of the modules you have. I obviously only have this one, so we're gonna go ahead and click OK. And now what we wanna do is we wanna set where we want this to output to. So pretty close, we don't want it to go there. We want it to go to Minecraft servers, tutorial, non-Bungie. And for some reason my, oh, okay. I guess for some reason I had to click spacebar on my uh, server. So let's go ahead and refresh this and then we'll go plugins. There we go. 
So then we'll go ahead and click apply. Okay. All right. So yeah, so I'm gonna call it quits here for this first episode. We have our project set up. Uh, we don't have any classes yet. I'm gonna save that for the next episode because I wanna um, do the plugin.yml, config.yml. I wanna do a couple things on the next episode. And I think this is a good spot to sort of end off on. Uh, and you can see here that my server has launched, so don't worry, it worked. Um, but yeah, I think this is a good spot to end off on. And yeah, so be sure to come back the next time. I'm not sure how frequently I'm gonna do these videos in particular. Um, they are really, really easy and really, really quick to record. So I might try to do, so I might try to do a couple of them a week, uh, just because, like I said, they're pretty easy to do. They don't take a lot of time, and I don't really have to do a lot of editing because I, you know, I don't really mess up that much because this is all really, really simple stuff to me. Um, but yeah, so I guess uh, stay tuned for the next episode. Uh, it's gonna be, you know, either next Tuesday or maybe I'll do a little special upload uh, on this Sunday. So yeah, I'll see you guys later.